Smile to Jenya. <laughs> Really? Really? A young atheist's handbook? It's crazy, it doesn't even make sense. The best thing of all is being made by an ex-Muslim. Who was Bengali? I'm Bengali. I didn't make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. Now look at the, the psychology behind the release. There's hundreds and thousands of atheists, but they have to choose a Bengali who's the next Muslim. Can religion make you do good things or is it a force for evil? How is this a debate? It's like saying, is the sky blue? Well, in my opinion, <laughs> I don't really care about your opinion, mate. Yeah, the sky is blue. Let's move on. A 16 year old who's grown up in a ghetto. He's wheeling and dealing. You come up to him and say, there's no God, mate. Yeah, don't worry about all of that. Just be good, in it? Here's a book made by some granddads in suits who live in privilege. Yeah, they've made a few things that you need to do. Yeah, and live like a good person. That guy don't care. He wants to make money. They're not going to stop doing bad. They're going to do whatever the hell they like. The teachers, they stay at school. Parents, stay at home. I'm outside doing my thing. Do you understand? No one's watching me. But, Islam teaches us, hang on a minute, Allah's watching you. Don't put a foot wrong. If you flop, if you do something wrong, there's consequences, mate. Yeah, It's not just going to be like, oh, you've done something wrong, mate. We're all about peace. And, hey, have a little massage. Nah, mate. So when I leave, it's the fear and love of Allah that makes a person say, he's created me. He's made me. He sustains me. He helps me in my time and need. How can I do something silly if he's told me not to do it? Bro, I will not do it. If you don't believe in a God, mate, behind closed doors, you do whatever the hell you like. <laughs> don't start standing on stage and having a two hour debate and say, yeah, atheism and yeah, the morals and yeah, don't need God and this and that. Everybody's like, <laughs> Amazing lecture. Yes, indeed, atheism rules the day. And then they go home and they start murdering people. Yeah, start stealing from banks. Yeah, start saying, hey, the survival of the fittest. Mate, don't give me that. Yeah, that's not going to work like that. Yeah, you can stand on stage, I can say whatever the hell I like. Yeah, politicians can say, yes, everybody should have free electricity and gas. We should all live harmoniously and like this. It makes good talk. No guy can come and say, look, there's no hereafter, there's no heaven or hell. You've got to survive yourself, but be a good guy. Why the hell should I be a good guy? Yes, but you will feel good. That's literally the things that atheists say. A lot of things make me feel good, mate. Do you understand? Like, murder might make me feel good. Who can convince me that's wrong? No, you, you only live once, so do what you like. Well, I like stabbing people then, mate. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. No, it's morally wrong. What's morally wrong, mate? To be an atheist, you have to deny everything. Hey, look at that amazing tree. It came from a little seed. Oh, it just happened by uh, osmosis and, you know, it's got a xylem and a phloem inside. The xylem takes the water. Yes, that's how it grows. I want to know why. Why from a seed you get a gigantic tree? Yeah, a spider, as soon as he's born, he spins a web. You give me a paper and pen, yeah? You told me to draw a spider's web. And you just see lines. You say, boy, what's going on there, mate? What is this supposed to be, mate? And you're trying to tell me when a spider's born and he spins a web, oh, happens by itself. Magic, innate behavior. Nonsense. When a caterpillar metamorphosizes into a butterfly within a few hours, without any training, starts flying, yeah? Wow, <laughs> do you understand? We can't even walk without training. But a butterfly is able to fly. Who's teaching it how to fly? But inshallah, we'll talk about all of these proofs in the next episode. But mate, I got to know. <laughs> What's with this young atheist sandbox? You've got an all-powerful creator looking over you, telling you not to do something. Of course, that's going to stop you doing something, rather than just some book that tells you, hey, you're going to die anyway, you're going to turn to dust, uh, do whatever you like, but you got to be good. Until next time. Say it with me now. Salaamu Alaikum.